Okay, here's a word problem dealing with quadratic equations, believe it or not. It has to do with area. And the reason that this is a quadratic problem is because eventually we're going to get area is equal to length times width involved with the problem. You see, we have a rectangular building lot. In fact, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and draw a picture. We have a rectangular lot. It's 8 feet longer than, 8 feet longer than, which means we're going to have a plus 8 show up somewhere in our equation. Not, not 8 times, that would be 8 times as long as, but we're saying 8 feet longer than it is wide. And so, let, if we draw a picture here, let's let W stand for the width. That means that the length would be W and then 8 more than that, right? And we know that it has an area of 2,900 square feet, so we want to find the dimensions of a lot, like 10 by 15, or 20 by 25, or something like that. So, step one, uh, we need to identify our variable. W is the width, right? That's the first step in solving the problem. Let's let W equal the width. That seems pretty, pretty correct, right? Um, things that we know, we know that area is equal to length times width. But in this case, instead of having the length, let's say that the length is the width plus 8 more, right? So we can take this and we can replace it, the L, in this first equation. That means that area is equal to W plus 8 times W. Now when you distribute it out, you'll see that that's equal to W squared plus 8W. That's the area. It's a W squared equation. Instead of X squared, it's W squared, but it's the same idea. It's a quadratic, right? The other nice thing we know is this. That's equal to 2,900 square feet, right? That comes from the problem. So the question is, can we solve that for W? Well, let's see here. Uh, I think if I was going to do this, what I would do is I would move everything over to the left-hand side. I would do that by subtracting 2,900 from both sides. And now I've got A is equal to 1, B is equal to 8, and C is equal to negative 2,900. I'm ready for quadratic formula. Instead of solving for x squared, I'm solving for w squared. So w equals negative b over 2a plus or minus. If you need to, pause it. Square root of b squared minus 4a which is negative 2,900. I've got to be careful about that negative sign. It makes a big difference. And that's all over 2a. Now it's time to just simplify this. If you need to, pause it. So let's see here. That would be 8 over 2. 8 over 2 reduces to 4, but it is negative. The width is negative 4 plus or minus. Square root of 8 squared is 64. Um, I have a negative 4 times a positive 1 times a negative 2,900. So if I look at just these three, I see a double negative show up. That means I'm going to have a plus. And 4 times 2,900, that's what calculators are for. 4 times 2,900 is 1,000, oh, excuse me, 11,600. And that's all over 2. Notice that the square root is above the fraction bar. Um, let's go ahead. I'm going to add 64 to both to that 11,600. So that's 11,664. I'm going to take the square root of that. I'm doing this off the screen, but I definitely have a calculator. I'm not doing that in my head. Square root of 11664 is missing. Oh in parentheses, sorry, new calculator, it is 108. Negative 4 plus or minus 108 all over 2. But 108 over 2, we can do that too, that's actually just 54. Negative 4 plus or minus 54. So that means W can equal two things. Negative 4 minus 54, it could be negative 58, or negative 4 plus 54 would be 50. Uh, because it wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense to have a width of negative 58 feet. We're going to go ahead and knock that option out. That means W has to be to 50 feet. So now I can go back up to my picture, understanding that W is 50. That means that the length must have been 58. My answer is 50 feet 
by 58 feet. There are the dimensions of my lot. And a quick check will let me know if I'm right. It's a rectangle. That means the area is pretty easy to find. The area would be 50 times 58, 2,900 square feet. Boom. Everything works.